Hello and welcome back to another end up other video. Today we are talking about the potential for the first real thunderstorms of the year for the Northeast. Potential for tornadoes, hail, wind, all of the above. Now this isn't a extreme severe threat. We only have a slight risk, but of course for the Northeast in mid March, this is of note. So let's take a look at the Storm Prediction Center page where we do have slight risks across 62,000 square miles and 20 million people, including Philadelphia, Newark, Patterson, Syracuse, and uh, down here, that's Savannah, Georgia. And then we also have marginal risks across 118,000 square miles and a population of 36 million people including New York City, Jacksonville, Baltimore, D.C., Jersey City, many large population centers. Now, this eastern coast, like the southeast coast, Atlantic coast, of course, this severe threat has been toned down mile run by mile run. So we're going to be seeing just the lines of thunderstorms just moving up the coast. Uh, sporadic thunderstorms, really nothing of note. Now, in the northeast... We could see maybe a little bit more overall activity. Now, we have this low pressure here, and you start to see some thunderstorms already starting to pop up. This is right around, let's call this, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, you have some thunderstorms starting to pop up in parts of central Pennsylvania, even western Pennsylvania and western New York. And those continue. As this low pressure moves to the north, it's going to bring in more Atlantic moisture and we start to see a lot of these oranges and yellows, which is those heavier areas of rainfall. And that eventually moves, I think, the most co cohesive part of this is going to be through areas of eastern Pennsylvania, western New Jersey, uh, parts of central New York, but west of Albany. And then moving through Albany and then kind of dying off as that happens. So as it moves into parts of southern New England and then into, you know, northern New England, it's going to die off. Uh, I think that you have that cold front is right over here. We do have occlusion with this, so it's, it's I think it's right in here. So as that moves through, strengthens, weakens, and as the low pressure that we've been tracking over the past couple days weakens off and is kind of over matured at this point, uh, continues to move off, continue to mature, and start to, you know, slowly but surely weaken off, we will see that last potential for severe weather. Now, with this severe threat, it's not really a severe threat, but the chance of thunderstorms, we do have some cape, uh, 500 to 1,000 joules per kilogram of cape. Uh, most of this is further east. Now, that area, that primary that we were talking about, like central New York, parts of northwest New Jersey, uh, eastern Pennsylvania, that's where you're going to get closer to that 1,000 joules per kilogram. And then eventually, once you move into areas of New England, it goes down to maybe a couple hundred joules per kilogram, which is basically showing that this cold front is, you know, strengthening, 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 peaks right here, and then just swiftly dies off. And then finally, for a significant tornado parameter, which is basically just a Torcon, you can see that we're in the zeros to ones. Uh, maybe some areas get over one, 1.3 there. Uh, but I think, yeah, exactly where our prime area is, we could see some areas getting close to one and a half, uh, maybe even, yeah, one and a half pretty much is the boundary. But then you can see basically right at the Hudson River is kind of where all of this dies off. So, quick video on a very brief uh, severe threat. It's only going to be lasting. I'm using an 18-hour mile run of the HRRR, which I don't typically use for these videos, but that's how brief this severe threat is going to be. It's only going to be lasting for about five to five to eight hours. So, first real chance for tornadoes and hail in the northeast uh, and this could be kicking off severe weather season further north earlier than we usually expect uh, as we're seeing a lot of warm air in the northeast we're also seeing that in parts of the midwest as well and 
next week we have the potential for a multi-day significant tornado outbreak and even that can move into the northeast with that cold front but that is all i have for today if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like subscribing and hitting the bell and if you want to learn more about that potential severe threat next week Click the bell as well so you don't miss any future videos that I post. We are now moving into that severe threat starting tomorrow. But that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.